Well, Joe, you, I said to you before the game that you seemed really calm and up for this one. Was it like that during it as well, watching your team were a 1-0 win? Do you know what, Mark? It, it, it probably was. I, I said on Tuesday night, it never felt like we were under any threat or never felt as if they had really large spells in the game. And today was a bit like that as well. So no dis, disrespect whatsoever to Torquay. And um, I have to say, you know, on record, I, I don't want to see a club like Torquay get relegated from this level. It's um, it's sad to see. Obviously, they've had their difficulties. Um and I'd look back at the game when we played them last time in 2019 and the the contrast of what the two games looked like. Um, I think they were first that night and we were third. So different kind of pressure today. We knew what was at stake. We knew a playoff spot is at stake still. A lot of people are looking at other games and what we've done is we've made sure, and I spoke to you before the game, I've not, I've not in previous years, I've probably thought about other things that have been going on and outside of what we're trying to do, but I've not I've really focused on what we're trying to do and the team have as well. So... It's important we get our game plan right. We pay the utmost respect to any opposition we play. We do our research on them. Um, but today, again, I thought we were really disciplined, but really organised, really clear, clear way. A Bar City way that's clear how we defend and how we attack. So um, to win it with a wonderful goal, great, great cross from Scotty, who'd worked tirelessly up top. And I'm really pleased for Elliot. We speak a lot, and Jim does, especially Jim, because he's mentioned a lot when he's come in that he wants his wide players inside to try and score. And where he scored from... If he'd stayed out in a wide area, he wouldn't have got that goal. So, um, yeah, credit to Elliot, who I thought played really, really well. And after that, we never troubled Mark. So um, it was a comfortable, comfortable result in the end. And it gives us confidence going in because I think that's seven unbeaten. Really, really good confidence going into the Avery game. I mean, the buzz around the place, you've said it before sometimes, it feels like a big game. It felt like it this afternoon. The fans are on your side just during the warm up and then getting an early goal is just going to encourage them even more. Special. Well, honestly, I've said this year, especially this year, we've gone in playoffs before, but I think this year there's a, definitely an upturn in how it feels. I think it's the connection between the staff, the players, and of course the fans. That's the most important thing. So we we can't do too much when we're on the side. We'll try and tweak bits, but it's about the players and the fans and how they interact during the game. That connection's there to see, and it's really clear. The celebration's afterwards, but it's not a celebration. We don't go over the top with it. All we'll do is we'll thank our fans for what they've done today. They've turned up, and 2,700 have turned up highest um, average since the 1970s which is makes me feel really proud as a manager we keep reaching these milestones but our work's not done by no means I know people have said we're in the playoffs but we're not actually because there's still a goal difference issue there obviously if we go in lose by eight goals and um, and we've seen things like that before so I'm not I'm not trying to be down on it or miserable on it we have to we have to make sure our week's right we, we need to we need to have a real good look at it because I've, I've finished in the playoffs twice and we haven't we haven't done it. So whether it means I tweak my week, whether it means we go and try and get an overnight stay on Friday and go down to Avery to save the the journey, that's something I need to discuss with the board. Um, and whether whether that week then afterwards, whether it's a Tuesday or a Wednesday, how that looks as well, what we do. Do we do do we do a training session on a Monday or do we do a Zoom? We spoke about a lot of things. So um, we're prepared, that's for sure. We knew we knew where we'd be. We were confident what we'd do today. And, um, and now full focus is on trying to do better. It's not, it's not a settling on the playoff spot at all. So much organisation off the pitch and so much good of it on it as well. I think it's 21 clean sheets in all competitions this season, right. despite you've had to change goalkeeper a bit, the fact that the defence has <clears throat> largely stayed the same five or six players and they mm. really pulled together and nullified Torquay today. Yeah, and we're a part-time team and um, we don't go out there. We don't talk about injuries. We've got 17 players. We don't talk about injuries. We don't talk about people when they're suspended. We don't say that, you know, we're not training in Bath, we're training in a place in Bristol, um, which is a very good facility, by the way, but we're away from the club itself. All we do is we try and work hard and we come in and I said to you before, this group has got such a good spirit amongst themselves and us as a staff. And you can see it in abundance today here. It's, um, it's a really strong performance in National League South. The pitches, you know, they're tricky. They're, by, they're now starting to go with the weather, starting to go a little bit lively and a bit bobbly. It was never going to be pretty on the eye but we knew we had to keep our shape against a full-time outfit. Don't forget, this is a team that is full of National League players, huge budget, huge resource, train every single day, bring a hell of a following to the game as well, rightly so, because they're talking United um, and we deserve to win the game. So that tells you where we've come from and where we are as a team. But it's really important we remember what we are. and We're not going to rest on our laurels for sure. We, um, we've got a job to do and we're trying really hard to get to the next step. We've just had the togetherness in the bar because it's the end of season awards. The fact that it was difficult to say who was going to win what because there's so many 
competitors in there, really good team spirit. And then Jordan Dyer is it manager's player this year, but it could have been a few. Yeah, it's a tricky one. I, I, it's, it's almost like it's, I'm reluctant to do it because you're singling out an individual. But um, And there's so many in there this season, so many. Normally it'd be a goal scorer or yeah, a leader out there, but they're all they've all been leaders. They've all they've all played their part. We've got goals from all over the pitch. Um and it's really difficult. But when I thought about it, I thought, well, there's a young man that's come from full time football not long ago, last season, trying to adapt to a part time model, um, having to work for a living suddenly and managing that with his body and mentally how that works. And I knew it'd be a transition period for George last year and he found it indifferent, his body picked up a couple of niggles. All I can say is that he's he's physically in the best shape I've ever seen him. He's a leader of men. He's um, very physical. Sort of underestimated how good underestimated how good he is on the ball. He's excellent on the ball as well. So he deserves it. But he knows as well, and he said to me that he knows it. It's not it's not just about him. It's about the whole collective, the whole team. Um, listen, people were saying coming into this a few weeks, you know, and I said to you at Hampton that people were probably doubting us at times and saying, can they really do it? We knew we could. There's been lots of things off the field that have been trying to affect us. Um, and we've not let that affect us. We've stayed really humble. We've not gone to social media. We've kept our business in-house. Um, and and other people have. They've gone to social media and that's not the right way to do it. We still back up. What's gone on recently, we still we still back up what happened that day. We know what happened that day. It's like, yeah. And that those points got taken away from us and we're bitterly disappointed about that. But all we do is we're here on merit. That's all I'll say. People have the green arm monsters out there and people are trying to take away what we've done, but they won't do that because we're united as a front and um, we know what went on that day and we'll stick with that, um, but it went against us. So it's really important now we used it as energy and you can see we've used it as energy. Um, nothing we can do about it, nothing can change about it, but um, we will now push on and we'll look forward to a game away at Averley where we want to go and win. We're not going there to make up a day to finish the season off. We're going there to win to have more confidence going into a playoffs. Yeah, we look forward to next week ending the 46-game season on a high. Thanks for chatting to us today. Cheers. Thanks, Martin.